Hey everyone, it's Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into the price of Engine. Engine's actually been staying and stabilizing right above $2. We have seen it come down quite a bit since this really recent crash of the crypto market. And when I say crash, you know it's only a 4 to 5% dip here, so it's not too big of a deal, but altcoins are seeing anywhere from a 9 to 11% decrease. So they are seeing some solid decreases across the board right now. Chainlink was sitting at like $32, $33, $34, and now back down to $29, almost pushing to $28. So we are seeing across the board a very, very big struggle for the crypto space. If we actually do refresh engine here, we can see that the price point right now is $2.08, about a 0.29% decrease in the last 24 hours. But the last week has been huge for engine, coming all the way from $1.68 to 29.58% of an increase, pushing it all the way up to 208 and then also the last month with a massive 57% increase as well. And you can see the volatility in this last 24-hour period. From $2.05 up to $2.26, down to $1.79, back up to $2.31, and then back down to $2.08. So we're going to continue to watch Engine with this really, really weird 24-hour chart. There's going to be a lot to really mention when it comes to Engine and what's going to be coming up next. You can see the all-time high push a couple months back was $3.97. If I try to get there without that pop-up showing up, $3.97. So what's coming is hopefully a new all-time high push by the end of the year and the end of the bull market we do have a lot of volatility right now taking place and we knew this would take place with the amount of money that uh, has really been just recently pumped into the crypto space if we jump into what i would consider some of the biggest news of engine and uh, you know this is actually very very valuable information for a lot of people knowing that blockchain game companies pen open letter to Valve, don't ban Web3 games. So if you guys didn't know, the developer booted the games from its Steam platform last month. This is absolutely huge as Steam is obviously one of the biggest places to buy and uh, you know play games. You have Fight for the Future, Engine and Blockchain Game Alliance, along with 26 blockchain game companies are calling on Valve to lift its ban on Web3 technologies, including non-fungible tokens or NFTs. So they definitely called on Valve, or sorry, not called on, yeah, they called on Valve, sorry, I had that right, to actually... Uh, you know, take back this ban, reverse this ban. And actually, you know, they had some success here. So that didn't take long, a step in the right direction from Steam. You can see here, hi, thanks for reaching out and explaining the context of your game. You can actually reference external data beta or your game can reference external databases to grant in-game content. If your game checks to see if a player owns an NFT and would like a really to grant content based on that ownership, you can do so, so long as the in-game content is only granted once and does not transfer when the NFT changes ownership. Please let us know if you have any questions. So it's a step in the right direction, obviously not completely you know, flexible quite yet, but Engine is looking like they have something coming up uh, to continue to help solve this really problem with Steam or Valve, whatever you guys would like to call the company or the platform. I want to jump, though, into something real quick before we jump into anything more related to Engine, because this could be a very, very big deal. If you guys go to Crypto.com, I don't know if you guys have used Crypto.com in the past, but it's the best place to buy, sell, and pay with crypto. BTC, Crow, it's all there and available to exchange on their platform, on their app. I will have the link down in the description below of the today's video if you guys want to check it out yourself. But the big thing I want to mention today is what are all of these tweets about? So you can see they pinned a tweet October 26th, and it was actually dated for October 28th that the big event was taking place. So this is tomorrow, guys. So be very, very aware of this. Uh, a lot of famous people tweeting this out. So we have an ad from... Thani Marza, I'm not sure, by the way, all of these people, obviously a famous soccer player in this one, it looks like, or UN woman, um, it's a goodwill ambassador or for South Asia, I actually got that one mixed up. If we continue down though, you can see the diamond here, you know, these are all verified accounts with tons of followers, and I don't know everyone, obviously this is Dustin Poirier, I'm pretty sure he's a champion fighter um, of some sort there. We have more though down here, we have Tony Hawks, pro skater, we have um, Seth Curry, which is obviously a um, an NBA player. We have more, though. We have Ronda Rousey. You guys all know who that is, most likely. Carmel Anthony, Scott Kelly, uh, Tyson Fury, Raphael Varane. Uh, so a lot of basically famous people all around the globe taking advantage of this Crypto.com announcement. So we will have to see what this is, guys. We're going to have to definitely keep you guys up to date with this. And I'll probably, like I said, update you guys with this in the next couple of days when we get this, hopefully, details tomorrow. Um, we'll probably have another little ad in the uh, segment to kind of explain what's going on there and kind of the hype around it as well. I do want to jump back over, though, to Engine. Like I said, there's more to talk about when it comes to Engine. We also see that uh, a lot of people talking about a certain certain thing called Gen X in analytics, and they 
really kind of cover Engine as a whole when it comes to analytics. Engine basically has over 1 billion plus assets created on its NFT utility blockchain, hosting a vast ecosystem centered around both play to earn and free to play gaming. Find anything from sci fi RP or sorry, sci fi. FPS, RPG, MMOs, and Metaverse titles. So this is absolutely huge, showing all of the logistics here. And you can actually jump in and see what they're all about, what they uh, you know, try to accomplish. So much really here in the Engine ecosystem that's going to continue to make a massive push for Engine, hopefully in this, like I said, later in this bull market part two. We can also see the Engine tweet here talking about want to be a part of the future of NFTs. Let's build it together. We're hiring a variety of roles on marketing, operations, finance, and development teams. This could be absolutely huge as well, continuing to grab more people into their uh, I guess I would say company, but you know, you're seeing more crypto jobs out there and available definitely regarding engine. This is definitely just showing that they're advancing, they're developing even more and really expanding, which is almost always a good thing. As we also see here, engine tweeting about the Halloween NFT treat is dropping this Friday, October 29th. So turn on notifications so you don't miss out. Collect all three drops for the chance to win 50 engine. This is a big deal for a lot of people as well. Uh, you know, new NFTs coming to the space. Why not take advantage of free NFTs? So I do want to say, guys, overall, Engine's looking very, very bullish in my opinion. I do want to jump back, though, and take a look at the Engine charts. You know, right now, we are struggling altogether if we take a look at the all-time, or not the all-time, but the entire crypto space, you know, about a 6% increase across the board. Engine, though, doing very, very well. Kind of stabilizing still at this $2.08, $2.09 range. I do think that Engine, you know, based on TA, based on where we're headed, based on the crypto space gaining more retail as well as institutional investors, we could be seeing Engine push 3 to $5 by the end of the year at the very least. I'm going to say that's as my price prediction for the end of the year. But as the end of the bull market comes into play, I think realistically speaking, depending on how long that bull market does kind of last, we could be seeing Engine pushing anywhere from 4 to $8. So we will continue to keep you guys up to date kind of Hopefully, you know, the closer we get to the end of the bull market, we'll start to realize and we can actually, you know, start to, uh, you know, I guess make that range go a little bit smaller so we can give you guys a more precise estimate of where we think the uh, price could actually be by the end of the bull market. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. If you guys didn't know already, you can actually go to Twitter, CryptoProfitYT on Twitter. That's going to be where you can stay up to date on Twitter as well as obviously YouTube by subscribing to the channel. But this is going to be something you all want to take advantage of. So 40 link to be given at given away at the end of October if we hit Chainlink's $40 price by then. All you have to do is retweet and follow this tweet to be entered. By the way, if it doesn't happen this month, we're just going to continue this on. We want to give that 40 chain link away. I haven't given it or I have it separated in a different wallet and I'm trying to uh, kind of wait for this giveaway to take place so I can give it to you guys. So we are going to make sure this 40 chain link gets given away. So make sure to follow me there on Crypto Profit YT on Twitter. Thank you guys, like I said, so much for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next one.